Good morning. breakfast time. I'm going to make eggs and bacon. Turkey bacon. God, I don't feel like being up right now. Now, it may seem like I'm starving myself because <sighs> that's it. But I promise you I'm not. I actually make sure I get right around 2,000 calories a day. Um, this is just me eating something first thing in the morning. I can't eat a whole lot, so I'm still really tired. Bon appetit. Mmm. Actually, it's not bad. I like clean eggs. I need to make sure I get 8,000 steps in today. That can burn about 300 to 400 calories extra. Could be less, you know, that's just a, an estimate. 8,000 steps, the more obviously the better. What I'm wanting to find is a trail. And for lunch from work today, I'll go hike a little bit on these trails. Uh, so that way I get my steps in and I enjoy it. I don't mind walking through my neighborhood to get the steps in, but the, the, the trails are, it's just like, that's why I enjoy being at. I like the outdoors. But I don't know if there's any trails where I gotta go today, um, there might be a couple down this one route, but they've been closed for over, actually before the pandemic, so I don't even know if it's open anymore. I used to go to that trail every now and then, so. Because right now, you can't see, but right now it's just country. And I love coming out here. I love those kind of drives where it's just country. No, no traffic, no houses. That's, that's where I would love. If I had a choice to live in the middle of the woods, away from everything, I would do it in a heartbeat. But, um, yeah, it's, uh, unfortunately it's all farmland. So there's no real trails out here because it's all farmland. So hopefully I can get my 8,000 steps in before, because I also go for walks with my daughter in the evenings, and that helps get my uh, my steps in, but hopefully I can get a majority of it before then. Snack time. Some beef jerky. Yeah, this is exciting. Okay, so now I'm just going to a little walk down this trail here to uh, get some walking in. Like I said, I'm trying to get about 8,000 steps in a day. And if I can do it in an area I like to be in, which is in the woods, and trails, nature, I'm going to do that. Like if you listen carefully. You can't hear any cars or anything, which is why I like coming out here to do these things. It allows me to get lost in my thoughts. 
and uh, kind of meditate a little bit. So we were walking for about 30 minutes during my lunch break here and then uh, get back at it. So I finished my walk. I want to show you guys something. I don't know how well you'll be able to see it, but <laughs> the amount of bugs, I'm trying to see maybe you can see on the side of my vehicle, flying around is crazy. Imagine walking through that. It's like getting pegged in the face a lot. All right, so that was about a 30 minute, very brisk walk. Um, so, that was fine. I'm gonna hop in my truck though and turn it on and cool off because it's probably about 100 degrees out here. All right, so that was a good little walk. I cooled down a little bit here. Uh, I, this is kind of like the seven, I don't know, fourth, fifth time I'm trying this little part out. I, it just keeps getting too long. I don't want to be too long of a vlog and uh, I'll explain in another video what was running through my head, but uh, that, little, uh, that little hike was nice it was good it got a little uh, emotional for me because my father and I would go on hikes all the time and uh, this isn't a trail that we did together but it would be one that he would probably enjoy so uh, it's actually the first trail I've hiked since he's passed away um, actually the last trail I hiked was with him and that was probably back in December I can't remember the date uh, so you know it, it's been you know, maybe January. It's just been a while, so but it was a good hike. Uh, I've only got about 5,000 steps in total so far today, which is not bad. So now, oh, there's my work phone. Now, gotta hold on. Sorry about that work calls. Um, yeah, so I got got my walk in. It was good. It was only about 5,000 steps I've got so far today, which is not bad. But that was a good brisk, fast walk. Uh, you know, so now I you know, work some more. Then after that, when I get home, I'm gonna work out. So see you when I get home. So I know I went for a walk for my lunch break, but I didn't actually eat lunch. And it's not that I'm skipping lunch because I actually have lunch. Um, so what's for lunch? Well, I have a handful of organic blackberries got a salad here now it's a Caesar salad but I'm not gonna use Caesar dressing I'm gonna stop at home I got some paperwork and stuff I got to do and that's what I'm gonna eat I'm gonna put Italian dressing on a light Italian dressing with this salad um, and then I also have some zero sugar non-fat Greek yogurt so that's what's gonna be for lunch today so it should be tasty yum 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 All right, I'm going to go on a real quick brisk walk as a warm up before I start my workout. I have a little problem. I was going to start my peak fitness plan, but I can't get access to it. <laughs> so today's just going to be a leg day. <sighs> yeah, I was kind of hoping I could get into it. I had it on a tablet and the tablet's not charging. Go figure. And I don't have it anywhere else. I used to have it in email, but it's not in my email either. Fantastic. So I did four sets of goblet squats and four sets of the jumping knee thing. Alright. 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 Not RDLs, but semi good mornings because I don't have the barbell right now to do this with. I don't have a barbell, it's just buried.
I'm going to do an exercise I didn't mention, and that's hip bucks. That way it works my glutes and my hamstrings some more. Um, this is probably one of the most uncomfortable exercises most guys do, but you know what's funny? I do this almost for every single leg workout, even when I was in great shape. It's because it works. Now, I'm not doing elevated hip bucks or weighted hip bucks, um, so, but I'm still doing them. Yeah, probably the next uh, next leg day, I'll probably add weight to it. Weighted hip ups. I've been doing legs twice a week now for about three weeks, four weeks. Um, so my actually of all body parts, my legs are the ones that get the least sore right now. It's because I've just been working them more than all the other ones. Just because it's the biggest biggest muscle group. So I produce, you're gonna produce the most testosterone working the bigger muscle groups. You burn the more, most calories and it's gonna use the most calories for recovery compared to all the other groups of muscles that are smaller. So I've kind of been working them more. So, so you don't need to watch me do that again. All right, calf raises, four sets. Oh, I usually go weighted. Behind me. I did four sets of hip ups. So this is about progressive overload because I've been doing weighted calf raises for a little bit, but now I'm adding an extra set. Probably the next time I do this. I'll either go up to 15 reps or I'll do elevated calf raises. You gotta keep it up, you know? Doing abs real quick. Oh, I just did uh, one set of, of uh, crunches real quick. Next, I'm gonna try to do some uh, oh, Russian twists. Real quick, hopefully I won't die. <clears throat> but I feel like I'm gonna die. Whew. So. Whew. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> I just had Charlie Mars. Ooh, in my abs. <laughs> oh wow my core is so weak I've done abs now for about a week and a half but only about two days a week okay let's do a different one instead. That's the end of the workout for today. A little longer than 30 minutes. That's all right. I'm gonna catch my breath. Even though I finally hit my step goals for today, my oldest starter loves going for walks with me and I enjoy spending time with her. You know, you guys don't know, it's this last video you guys saw her. I think she was 
10, 9, 10. I, I think it was, yeah, maybe about that. She's 14 now, so I gotta get the time with her while I can. Oh. Say hi, Kylie. Hi. See, she's grown. <laughs> Dinner. Annabelle, hi. Hi. There's Kylie again. Hi. There's Jasmine. <laughs> What? My, my dinner. Oh, screw that person. I wasn't going to have noodles, but I have very little for some carbs, and I didn't have any broccoli, so that's what we went with. Yeah, still healthier. Well, that's it for today, guys. Um, so, not too shabby for one day following. I don't know if I'm going to post every single day or what. I'll let you guys know. Uh, what day it is we're gonna start today as day one even though i've been working out exercising and kind of eating right for the last like i said almost three weeks um, but we're gonna count today as day one so waited in at 215 i should show you a before picture but maybe the next video um so now what am i gonna do i'm gonna go ahead i'm gonna do some stretching and I'm get ready for bed here you know it's, it's like nine o'clock i'm gonna be lights up by 10 gotta keep that uh cortisol levels nice and low so it helps burn that now real quick now in case you guys are wondering i actually did almost 14,000 steps today so i'm going to start bumping up my my step counts to 10,000 a day um and my calorie intake was right around 16 1700 calories a little low than i want but not too bad and actually i feel full i feel associated associated it's a hard word to say because i've been eating a lot of protein which is why i actually stuck with this diet for as long as i did so Bye, guys. See you later.